What's up guys? Just woke up uh, not too, about 20 minutes ago. Uh, my eyes are red. See that? It's from allergies. Really bad. It's about 8 o'clock right now in the morning. Um, day one of the pool program, so I'm pretty excited. But first, I'm going to uh, see how much I weigh this morning. Guys, there's a scale, there's stepping on it. So 169, almost 170. All right, guys. So 169, almost 170. Um, my previous weigh in last week was 168. So getting pound there. I kind of know why. Uh, I had some pizza and lasagna yesterday, so not exactly the best uh, choices to. Uh, to have on a uh, non-lifting day, but it is what it is. It's, it's all good. Um, anyhow, so day one, I'm gonna hit the gym in about two hours, so I'm gonna have like a pre-workout uh, meal. So here's what I'm going to make. All right, guys. <clears throat> Apologize if these uh, ain't camera angles are a little weird, but gotta do what I gotta do. Anyhow, uh, so here's the pre-workout meal. We have oatmeal, so I have a serving of that which is uh, three grams of fat, 27 carbs, and five grams of protein, all right? Uh, probably have half a serving of peanut butter, which would be eight grams of fat, three grams of protein, and four, four carbs. And uh, one scoop of whey, which is 24 grams of protein. So a lot of protein. Um, fats are covered through peanut butter and oatmeal, and carbs, basically oatmeal. So, um, what I'm going to do is blend it up and then, because uh, I kind of want to drink it fast, I want to, normally I don't like to eat uh, within an hour before I work out. So, since I'm working out at 10, um, I wouldn't eat past 9, um, just because, um, unless it's small, if it's a small snack, then I can get away with that. Uh, I tend to think, for me, uh, if I take pre-workout, which I plan on taking it today, it doesn't work as well if it's uh, if you have stuff in, stuff in my stomach. If I have an empty stomach, it works a lot better pre-workout, uh, the stuff I take. So, anyhow, let me blend this up real quick. And basically, I just have like a little uh, blender here, sort of like a mini uh, uh what those called bullets cheaper version though so if you watch my cut series you know i weighed out my food they came to meal preps all this stuff now i haven't filled up figured out my macros yet i'm slacking on that but i will today however since i woke up a little heavier than i wanted to wake up and i know the reason why um Today I'll probably just eyeball today's meals, what I'm going to have. Tomorrow I'll definitely be more on a strict macro plan. So, let's weigh this out real quick. So, this is going to be 40 grams. And one trick here, guys is actually blend up the oats, the oatmeal uh, first before you blend anything else. Makes it so much easier. Alright. So next, there you go. see that? Hopefully it focuses. Uh, next, add the whey. If you want to make this sort of like a more of a smoothie texture, you would add ice, but since I want to drink this kind of quick, I'm just going to add uh, water, that's it. Actually, I might have some almond milk, I might do that. It's a little bit of a better taste. Alright, so yeah, the powders in here, both of them. Now I'm going to add the, I do have almond milk, I'm going to add some almond milk. So, this is unsweetened, vanilla flavored almond milk. 
um, 30 calories per serving. Macros are pretty good. So for one cup, which is uh, eight ounces, uh, 30 calories, two and a half grams of fat, one carb, one gram of protein. So macro friendly. Adds a little different flavor to your. Um, and I'm gonna weigh this out uh, to your shake. So I'm gonna put a full cup in. Last but not least, we're gonna add the peanut butter. So, the way how I measure out peanut butter is this. Let me get the camera. So basically, what you're gonna do is take the lid off first. Take this. Let's set this. Oops. Let's set this up to grams and. One serving is 33 grams, so I'm going to have half of that. So what I do is now, I'm actually going to go negative 16, 17 grams. So negative 12, I'm just scooping it out. And 14, almost there. Negative 7, 16, there we go. So, how it is, I need one of those, uh, like a head mount or something like that for, for my phone. That way, it makes it a little easier, point of view wise, see what I'm doing. Hold on a second. Technical difficulties. <coughs> so, just going to pop this in here. Alright. And like I said, if uh, you want a more texture to it, then you add like ice. And it varies how much ice you would add, depending on how thick you want it. <coughs> It's good to add, uh, usually like post-workout. So if you can make a post-workout shake, fruit would be a great, um, great source of um, carbs. Let's see here. I think it looks pretty blended up. So another thing you could add too is frozen spinach. You don't taste any any of the um, spinach. It just adds more uh, micronutrients, which are good for you. Some greens. All right, let's see here. It's pretty good. That's what this is. What it looks like. See that? So I'm gonna drink this. Um, I have a few emails I need to answer or get to, and then uh, get ready for the gym. All right. What's up, guys? Just got done. Day one, pull program, kick my butt. Tell you what, um, you know, the entire, not entire, had that six weeks of the strong, strongest five by five program last year. So, when your body's not used to training a certain way and you go on a complete different direction, uh, I mean, it's not totally different, but it's a different method of lifting because you're goals different for that workout which is which is power and strength today uh it definitely takes your toll it took a toll on me so uh, even though i had my pre-workout meal uh that definitely helped out but man it just shows you you know once you change it up like that your body's not used to it and uh it definitely kicked my butt so i am exhausted um my original plan was to cook my lunch but since i'm tired and i'm feeling not so much lazy, just tired. I feel more exhausted, I should say. That's the right word. Um, picked up some Chipotle. All right, so got a burrito. Pretty simple. It's just chicken, rice. Uh, no, rice, half chicken, half steak, and just some lettuce inside of it. Let me show you guys real quick. And some hot sauce on the side. Let's see here. 
So, my mouth stuff. Pretty simple, guys. So, we need this. Um, just after uh, 12 o'clock or so, 12.15. So, I'm going to finish this up. Watch a little bit of TV. And then got some work that I got to do. So, answer emails. Um, and uh, what else is going on today? Meeting up with a friend later on today. Uh, at a restaurant. So like I said, I know I said in a previous video about me eating up too much, but um, hey, it is what it is. So I got to figure out my macros too today. So busy day, busy close out this Monday. And um, I'm going to finish this up or eat and then uh, I'll check back with you guys later. Peace. What's up, guys? Just got back. Just hanging out with a buddy of mine, catching up. Um, just got back to the house. So it's a little after seven, but um as far as meal goes you guys saw pretty much all my meals uh we went to hooters actually i had about a dozen wings so um that's what i had pretty much for dinner so i'm gonna have a little snack uh and then um i got some work gotta do nothing too fun uh to show on camera anyway so uh snack wise i'll probably just have another shake and then uh tomorrow morning is leg day so um looking forward to that Still exhausted from today's workout. It's kind of crazy. Um, I don't, can't remember the last time I was this, this exhausted, especially uh, not being on the cut and uh, you know going heavy like that. So it's good. It's a good feeling. So, anyways, guys, I'm gonna wrap up this uh, vlog. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the like button. Share the video. Follow me on all my social media uh, stuff. That's the links are in the description. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.